Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to go through the sum function, which means you're going to add up a column or add up a row. And here we have a simple spreadsheet, monthly fruit sales expense report, and we have the months of the year here. We have the revenue in another column, we have cost, and we have profit. Now, just talking about the sum function mainly today, let me scroll down. And as each month of revenue uh, gets um, added up here, and we're, there's some months we don't have any revenue because that's the nature of the business, but uh, it's a seasonal kind of business. We have our totals down here at the bottom of the spreadsheet, and you'll see here that you know, for all the revenue for the entire year of 2011, we have uh, revenue of 295,361. Now, we have a sum function in here. You can look at the formula bar up here and see the sum function. Let me reveal it by hitting F2 on my special function keys. And that's what we typed in. Equals sum, S-U-M, because you want to add. And then you put the range of cells in that you want Excel to put together and add up. So we have equals sum, parentheses, C7, colon to C18, end of parentheses. All right, that range, C7 to C18 for revenue. Let me uh, scroll up here a little bit. C7 obviously starts here in this cell for January. And we had it examine all these cells all the way down, C7 to, let me scroll back down to um, C18. And that's telling Excel, take that range of cells and add up all the values in the, that range of cells and give us a, a total. So when I hit Enter, that reveals the total that it got through to. Um, you might say, well, you know, can, can't you just say, you know, equals um, C7 plus C8 plus C9 plus C10 plus C11 and on and on and on till you get to, you know, plus C18. Yes, you can do that in Excel and you can still get the same answer. But why do you want to go to all that work when there's just a better function to be used, which is the sum function there? So... Remember, some these are very small spreadsheets we're showcasing, but in the real world, your spreadsheets are very can be very large. And if there's you know 2,518 entries, you'd rather say equals sum the range of cells being you know C7 to um, C2,518, um, and you know, and then have it instantly look at that range, add that range together, and give you your answer. You don't have time to sit there and go C7 plus C8 plus C9 plus C10. So that's why we use the uh, sum function to make things easier to handle, especially large spreadsheets. Okay, thank you for your time.